All right, what is up, guys? Here we are with uh, an Iron Rain video. I normally don't do Iron Rain videos because Iron Rain is a bit a bit nonsense. Um, but we're gonna do this deck here. We're gonna get some cane action. We're gonna do some some cane throbbing with some fanatics. That's the plan. Uh, Tick Tank is actually really good. Tick Tank and bikes are really good in Iron Rain. Tick Tank just takes forever to remove. Um, and then we've got fanatics to boost cane obelisk, and we've got stealth tank for anti air purposes. So. We'll give it a go and see how it goes. Obviously, Iron Rain is a very silly mode. Um, I actually don't really think the wheels make sense in this deck, because in Iron Rain, you often want to open bikes anyway. In Iron Rain, opening double bike is really strong, because they're fast, they do decent damage. You've got like, bike, bike, harvest, so you get the missile charging immediately. See, he's opened wheels, and he gets immediately punished, because I've got these bikes. And now we're just going to go straight into Fanatics. As you can see, obviously, the missile fires super early in Iron Rain. Um, you see people going double half in Iron Rain a lot, which is madness, because the missile fires so quickly that, yeah, going, trying to go tech is, is insane. Like, the biggest problem with tech in regular rivals is that the game ends before it's relevant. So, when the game is even slower, sorry, even faster, because it's Iron Rain, then it's just madness. I just surrender, there you go, 1-0, Iron Rain King, 35 second win. Alright, so up against... Predator, which I assume is a predator who eats doors, but I'm not 100% on that one. Again, bikes first, get on the pad ASAP. He's gone blind double harvester, which is absolute madness. As I was saying in the first game, like, why? Like, why would you want to go tech in a mode that is over in, like, one minute? Like, the game will literally be over at, like, you know, around one minute into the game. So why would you want to be trying to go double half? Alright, so we're going to harass his, uh, harass his harvest a bit. Get these fanatic boys out here. Get some more wheels down here as well for when he starts killing my fanatics. Get them boosted. Uh, we've got the stank for anti-air, so... I guess we'll, uh... Oh, I went harvester. Oh, that was supposed to be stank. Rip! Alright, let's use it as a pad warmer since we, uh, since we messed that up. I just saw a flame tank going for my base, that's pretty scary. I guess we'll get a tick tank and deal with that. Alright, what's up flame tank? How you doing? How you doing, bud? How you doing? So yeah, obviously building a second harvester was a pretty big cost. As a basilisk. Did not mean to build second half. Okay, so the game's almost over now. Alright, so we get another stealth tank. Just need one more missile to win. And here it comes. Let's put down a Frobolus, because we can. And we win. Frobbing. Alright. I think maybe this deck would actually be better if the uh, wheels were like something like Chuggy. Oh. Okay, okay. This guy's opened with bikes and wheels. I like it, I like it. Yeah, like we have a lot of money because it's Iron Rain, so I think we could have we could get away with just playing Chuggy instead uh, of Wheels, and it might be better. All right, so we get the Fanatics out. Oh, Chems. Okay, okay, okay. So we want to get the double Fanatics up against the Chems, get the boosts. All right, nice. So we take out those Chems. Oh, here comes an explosion. Jade hits nothing. It looks like. Yeah, he killed nothing. He did force me off the pad. Which potentially won in the missile, so I'm not going to say it was a bad Jade missile at all. Um, but yeah, he did actually kill nothing with it, which was, you know, not that impressive, given how many clouds there were as well. Alright, so now we're going to set up a Thick Boy. Thick Boy on the pad. And we'll fire this missile, obviously. Oop. Cat Ship gets stanked for that. I don't want some boost from my stank. There we go. Um, so yeah, I really want to boost an obelisk, but the game's about to be over, so I'm not sure I can do it. Why can I obelisk? Oh, I can frob down here. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's frob here and see if we... Yeah, we're going to get some boost. That's going to be nice. Yes, there we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, frob! <laughs> Yeah, 
Got him. Absolutely got him. Fully destroyed, my dudes. Fully destroyed. Frobbing 24-7. Never not frobbing. I just realized my bikes have been on this harvester like the whole time. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, we're on hidden gems. This is a horrendous map for rushes because we can get right in there where the where the harvester is like locked out. Oh, we didn't go harvester yet. Oh, can we block it? That would be insane. Oh my god, we blocked the half. GG. Feels bad to be him. We are going to lose first missile um, because of him spamming a bunch of infantry early. But you know, it's iron rain. It's not. It's not a big deal. We can. We can lose a missile. It'll be okay. Looks like he's trying to send some missiles up here to get my half. We'll get the thick tank into play. Alright, so obviously we win second missile. Like the god tier players that we are. We'll get some more thick boy. Thick boy action on the middle pad. Get these fanatics involved. I'm gonna get another thick boy and try and send him down here. Oh yeah, easy missile here. Yeah, I actually think Chuggy would have been better. We have so much money and the wheels, like, the wheels are just lower impact for the pop cap. But I do think we should have played Chuggy instead. Oh, you think Orca can kill Mighty Thick Tank? Come on now. Come on now, bro. Oh, borrow, borrow Thick Tank. Ah, I didn't borrow in time. Alright, time for the stank. Wow, that's a lot of Orcas. That is a lot of Orcas from our opponent here. Wow, that is four Orcas now. That is nuts. So we need to shoot this a bit so the bikes can kill it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the bikes didn't kill it. Ooh, that was close. That was real close, but it's okay. We got there. Alright, nice. We take out all of those. Yeah, definitely switching to... Um, definitely switching to thingy next game. Uh, Chuggy instead. That seems way better. Let's get the thick boy set up. Let's, uh, let's throw down a Frobolisk. Just because, you know, we want, we want to make a Frobolisk before the game ends. Oh, a little bit of misfire on the stank there, that's unfortunate. Get the lasers on the bottom, and there we go. Easy wins. Easy Iron Rain victories. Alright, so we're up against our boy Fudd again. Um, he went barracks opening last time, so I'm going to make one bike and then go harvester. We did switch to Chuggy for this run. Hopefully he's still open. Yeah, he's still open barracks, sweet. Because if I'd made this Chuggy and he hadn't opened barracks, it would have been real suck. Luckily, he did still open with the barracks, so the Chuggy's going to clean up house. Should take first missile fairly easily. Very nice. Oh, he's gone straight into Orchids. Okay, I can I can, I can, can dig it. That's a reasonable play from him. Orca does seem like the best thing against my deck. Uh, let's get on these pads. Get on the pads, boys. Chuggy, get the lasers over here. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing the Chuggy laser life now. This is where I want to be. Run, Chuggy, run! Oh, my God! Ah, oh, nice. Chuggy lives. Feels amazing. And we can chug over here as well. Nice. This is going well. Kill this. Oh, I didn't block the rifles. Rip. Oh, he's not, he's not on the pad anymore. The cloud finished off his unit over there. Aha, I got him. Okay, so yeah, Orca is definitely the best unit against us. We want to we wanna do lasers. Lasers plus Chuggy, for sure. I'm gonna run over here as well. Come on, kill the orca. Kill the orca. Oh, he almost got the chuggy. Didn't quite manage it though. Get the lasers in here. We need to replace this back unit with a laser as well, because he's obviously gonna send uh, he's obviously gonna send air over there at some point. So yeah, we want that back unit to be a laser. I guess we could stank now, we've got quite a lot of money. We can probably afford to splash out on a stank. Get the chuggy over here. Frob, just because you know, why not? Or a frog before the game ends. Even if it's not got any targets. Wow, he's just making only orcas, it feels like. Kind of gross. Come on. Come on, walk in so I can frog something, my dude. Let me frog. Yes, we're going to get to frog something. It's going to be amazing. Yes, frobbing. I haven't got the boosted frogs, unfortunately, but you know. Can't always live our best lives. Oh, need to get on the pad. Close. Finish this dude off. Send the stanky boy over here. Alright, he's on me coming. Rip. Wow, there's two walkers over there now. That's insane. 
get on this pan, we should be good to go. Yeah, you see, I replaced this laser back here ages ago. So smart. So smart and handsome. And there it is, guys. Fanatical Kane 5 0 ing the Iron Rain. Iron Rain is uh, Iron Rain's a pretty fun mode. I quite like Iron Rain. But um If you want to win Iron Rain a lot, the best thing to do is play like Jade. Play Jade and Chems, it blows up the base so quickly, it's ridiculous. Um The premium on Iron Rain is horrendous. Don't touch this. It's actually it's just awful. It's so much worse than uh, 10 game premiums. And obviously the standard is just 100 credits, so, you know, if you, if you don't like Iron Rain, don't feel compelled to play it each week. Uh, but if you do want to win the most in Iron Rain, the best deck is almost certainly like a Jade deck with uh, with chems, because blowing you can blow up like half the base really easily with one chem warrior. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed some Iron Rain action. I'll see you next time.